Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to some Premier Buggy Racing. Yes, the best racing game you guys have never heard of, uh, and that's because it's not the best racing game. Uh, that's, that's why you guys never heard of it. It is a game I bought on Steam on sale actually for 59 cents Canadian. Uh, it, it's not worth that. It's not worth that. Um, this is the worst reviewed, cheapest game that was not free uh, racing theme uh, on Steam. So, you know, it's going to be a surprise today. It's going to be it's gonna be a fun video. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So, uh, right off the bat, we're looking at our buggy. We're playing Premier Buggy Racing. This is our buggy. Uh, I guess we're racing buggies. Sure. Um, we can see our, our season standing here. I, I did a couple races, so we are in dead last still. Number 69, of course. Uh, we've got our fan approval. The fans love us. Uh, we have a driver rating of 6 out of 100, I'm assuming. That doesn't sound very good. But our vehicle is 53. Our vehicle is not bad. Our vehicle is holding us up right now. Too bad or awful. So what we're going to do is jump into a race. But first things first, uh, one thing I noticed, every time you finish a race or you quit a race, it defaults to use controller. And you can't change it during the race. <laughs> Which, I don't know why. We're going to go next race here. Jump into a season. Now, the entry fee is $500. And you can see we have zero. We, you know, we don't have any money. But if you go start race, it lets you start it anyways. And beautiful intro music. The game looks okay. For 59 cents, I'm not complaining on the looks. I'm not sure if, if these assets were just, like, bought off Unity. This is a Unity game. If you guys don't, don't know what Unity is, it's an engine you can just pretty much get assets for super quickly and stuff. It's, it's yeah. So, I have never done this track before, actually, so I have no idea what to expect here. And it feels just as bad as the last track. So, we're racing buggies versus all these other buggies right now. And it's, oh boy, oh, the graphics and the, everything's just happening. Oh wait, our tires can go through each other, that's nice. So, oh, we're gonna crash. You can see here, the physics are bad. The graphics are okay. The physics are terrible. It feels like I'm driving on literally ice, and you can see the tires actually, they turn really weirdly. It just looks really strange. Um, the brakes don't really do anything at all. Uh, the fans, of course, they're cardboard cutouts. They're cardboard cutouts. Wait. They don't even move. <laughs> they don't even move. Perfect. That's that's everything I want in a game like this. Uh, we're we're in last place, number sixty nine. That's kind of cool though, actually. The, it's like a nice little light thing. And the fans, they don't move at all. Uh, they are not having. It. They're not happy that I'm losing. Clearly. But number sixty nine is in a cat. Oh my gosh, there's a wall there. And clearly, um, you guys know how bad of a driver I am. And I'm not sure my stuff here, to be honest. Even though this is this is a keyboard. Uh, I can safely say though. It is easier to drive. It would probably be easier for me to race in a professional Azeto Corsa race, like an actual, like a, like a, like a professional sim racing league, with a keyboard and mouse, than it would be in this game. This is just that's how bad this is. I would have a better time racing against professionals in a Azeto Corsa or a sim racer than, I, than anyone would in this game. This game is just so bad. The physics are just atrocious, and the audience makes the exact same sound. Oh my gosh, why do I keep crying? The audience makes the exact same sound every time I do a lap, which is really weird. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what was that? The physics are so good. Hey, number number four. How's it going? Oh wait, that's... that's I just got lapped by everyone. But, man, oh man. There's two premier buggy racing signs behind me, and each time I see it, I'm just more disappointed every lap. Oh, we're, we're on the final lap. Oh man, we're... Oh, oh, we lost. We're, we're a lap behind. Yeah, we've lost. Yeah, they've already completed all their laps. Wait, wait, what are they doing? What are they doing? Why are they all... They're all in unison, that's that's cool. Wait, let's look at the physics here. If you turn left, then right. I right, take a look at the front wheels. So when I, if I'm fully turned left, and I let go, it goes back. If I'm fully turned left and I turn right, it just teleports to right somehow. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. Um, clearly the problem is I bought a 59 cent game on Steam. And honestly, I kind of regret spending 59 cents on it. Uh, is this game atrocious so far? Um, our driver rating has gone down from us. Our fan approval. Our fans absolutely hate us. Can we change? Can we, can we upgrade? Of course we... Okay, I did one upgrade at the start of the game. Um, and a couple of things to look at while we're here too. So there's there's a couple of things. Uh, if we go to my race team, we can see here we can buy merchandise licensing. So we can actually sell merchandise uh, somehow. Like we have t-shirts... Flag banners, die casts, and race hats? I'm not sure. I guess that makes you money. But, like, make the game be a functional game bef before you add weird stuff. Like, stuff that's, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. But, like, oh, there's a tutorial and a report. Okay. And I really hate to, like, 
Everything's just these weird buttons that don't feel really intuitive at the vault. They make no sounds. Wait, there's online trials? No way! I didn't even see this before. There's online... I'd, it's probably just gonna stay here in, in, in limbo forever. Um, can I just go... Can we just go a quick race? What, what options do we have here? Seven race. Oh, we can have 50 laps? There's, you know, there's like, what? What is it? Nine tracks? That's not bad. That's not bad. Or seven tracks? That's not a terrible amount of tracks for a small game. Let's do um, Premier Fairgrounds. Let's try this. Star Race. Let's see what this map's like. I'm not sure um, if like if all the maps are the same or not. Who knows? Track description. Okay. Uh, fan capacity, 3,000. You know, people aren't watching these, and I, I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder why. The audio just sounds atrocious. The same... The, the same, like, intro music every race, which is interesting. It's not bad. I like that. Oh, now we have a countdown. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. And gosh darn it! We're on controller settings. Gosh darn it! <laughs> why does it default to controller settings? I, I don't understand. Because this is, this is fun. This is just like, what the heck is this even? This map looks actually kind of cool. The graphics on low look pretty bad, but like, 59 cents, how can I complain, really? Like, I don't know why there's fireworks every time. And holy cow, are they way ahead of me! Oh my gosh. I mean, easy was very hard, but this is like, impossible now. Wait. I'm gonna try this time. Get away from me, number 92, I'm catching up to you. Come on, Guy Fullerton. And the AI is all programmed in the same way, it looks like they're all following the exact same path for some reason. It just looks really strange, and um... Like, how come they can turn so easily and I can't? I just slide. It's like I'm literally driving on, like, ice the whole time. Like, look at that. Like, did he break? I can't tell if anyone breaks, because there's, there's no brake light. My buggy has brake lights, and I can't tell if I'm if they're braking or not. Like, why can't I see if they're braking? So I can know what, what I should be doing. So, definitely don't buy this game, unless you want to uh, be disappointed with, with the quality, obviously. Um, like I said, this game came out in 2017, and there's been no updates since, and I'm concerned that I just downloaded, like, some virus on my computer because this game was just that bad, and, like, how could anyone possibly buy this? Like, uh, like I've posted probably reviews on the screen, if not, I'm gonna post some reviews and stuff like this on the screen and just, like, show you guys, like, the negative feedback and stuff. Like, come on. Like, Steam, Steam, what are you doing? Take this game down. There's no reason for this game to be on Steam. Uh... I can make a better game in Unity. Like, I'm doing 120 miles an hour. Like, pr in a pretty quick time. Like, these buggies are fast. Can I, wait, can I... Like, what else? Can I get out of the map here? No. Like, there's, there's no point in breaking, actually. It's, it's, it's just that bad. But, yeah. Um, obviously this is not gonna be a crazy long video because I can't just drive around this game for like hours straight. We're gonna go back to the menu here and see what else we can do real quick. Um, just a fun game. Just, just what is this? What is this game? You know, if anyone has this game and wants to play online, like, hit me up. <laughs> um, well, is there, there's a tutorial? Oh, that's it's just a page. Okay, there's nothing you can do right. Online trials, what is this? Offers a competitive racing experience as you race against the clock to try to achieve the fastest time on the Steam leaderboards. Oh, so it's not... Oh, so it's not actually online, it's not versus, it's just, it saves your score to, to Steam, which is pretty much offline? I don't know. Um, so quick race is just one quick race, I get that. Season mode, you can sell merchandise. Um, you can hire a driver from the race hub to receive 50% of their prize winnings. Okay, so you can actually have like a race team. So like, you're, you're a driver and the leader of a race team, from what I can understand. I'm not too sure, honestly. Um, but definitely made for controllers. I'm not sure why this is on Steam. Uh, but my buggy looks kind of nice. And honestly, number 69 is probably a, a fine number. We have $50 to our name. Uh, I think it's safe to say that my career as a premier buggy racing driver <laughs> has totally flopped. We've got two points, whereas Ty Florence has 20. He's got two wins in a row, I'm assuming. Wait. Wait, have we... No, we've done... Have we completed two races or just one? Like, it's 10 points a race, right? It's 10 points, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. So he's got two wins. Ty's got two wins. That, that, that doesn't fly with me at all. I don't like that at all. Good for Ty. Um, but yeah, so I think we're done with Premier Buggy Racing League. I will probably never come back to this game ever again in my life. Um, and I think I've actually played the game just for, for too much minutes now, so Steam will not refund me. Ripperoni. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Wait, 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 wait. Do you guys hear the audience in the background? Here, I'll turn it up. Do you guys hear the audience in the background? It's the same 30 second loop. It's the same 30 second loop. Over and over again. Oh, that's bad. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like the video, leave a like down below. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of just just sort of playing around with the games. This doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be the worst game on Steam, like this is, or the worst racing game. But it could be other games, like just messing about in some games and having fun, because this is this is a big change up. It's a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, more automations coming, more Beam and G, all that stuff's coming. Uh, but different things of course so let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me play more games or what games you want to see me play if you guys like the video leave a like down below uh and if you're new to the channel leave leave a subscribe leave a subscribe sure subscribe um and if you guys are already subscribed click the bell notification to enable all notifications i know that's the first time i've said it too um so anyways guys thank you so much for watching and as always i'll see you next time